Hi everyone, just a quick video on your spark plugs and how to check them for the resistance. So why is it important to, to know the spark plug resistance? Well, if uh, the spark plug resistance gets too high, then the voltage uh, won't be allowed through and you won't get the spark across the electrode gap and therefore you'll develop a misfire. So it's very important to check these and make sure that the resistance isn't too high. It's mostly going to show up under high load when you're accelerating, uh, when the demand's at its highest, um, so it's worth testing them. Um, I've got my multimeter set up uh, onto Omega there and I've got my earth in the com and the black lead and the red lead if you can see that is in the ohms setting as well there so they're both ready to go. I'm expecting between sort of one and five thousand ohms uh, depending on the type and the design of the spark plug. Bear in mind that some have multiple uh, contacts some don't. The resistors that live inside here will be different so they'll allow more or less um, current through so do bear in mind that you want to be checking like for like spark plugs if you're ever replacing a set of spark plugs make sure they're exactly the same ones for all four cylinders to make sure the car runs properly um, so yeah what we've got here is four brand new spark plugs and they're all identical so they should be giving similar readings I'm not expecting big big differences but because you've got four as a reference if I had a misfire and I checked the other things on the car and I wanted to check the spark plugs this would be a really good way of, of finding higher resistance because I've got some references here. So I've set it to 20,000 because it's not going to be any higher than that. And I've got my two test leads here. It's just worth mentioning the construction of the spark plug. The uh, high voltage comes down here. It goes to the little tip here and then it jumps across. So you think of that on the positive side, if you like, jumps across to the electrode tip here and then down the body. And this is screwed into the engine block or the cylinder head. Sorry. So this is earthed to the engine. So you've got your positive side, if you like, and then your earth return is the actual body itself. So if you're testing for resistance, there should be no resistance between here and here because they shouldn't be linked. There should be two sides of the circuit. So if I want to actually test the insulator and the condition of the spark plug inside, I'll put my earth on that side. It doesn't matter which way around you do the leads technically. And then on the contact tip here, if you can see that there. So I've got one on the back end of there and one on the contact tip there. I'll have to slide my multimeter down, but it's 4.57. So I'll slide that down so you can see. 4.57 ohms. So I'm going to put down for this one 4.57 ohms at 20k. So that's my reference now for the next three. So next one along, I'm going to check yet again. I'm going to put my earth side onto here and then this one. To the little contact there 4.94 ohms at 20k so I know what setting I've got my multimeter on next one along again earth onto the contact tip 5.4 And then the last one, 4.85. So even though these are all absolutely brand new, they've never been in a car. Um, they've come straight out of the factory. No two spark plugs are exactly identical. So again, even though they've come straight off the production line, this particular spark plug is, has higher resistance than the other three, so that's actually internally uh, in, in worse condition than the other ones. As you can see, they're quite similar uh, in terms of the readings. Um, but yeah, clearly that uh, second one down has higher resistance, so therefore the structure inside isn't quite as good. One of the tests worth doing if you are testing spark plugs, as I say, if we just set it to continuity, which will just give me a buzz if there's a contact. So if I go between here, and here where I had before, it shows it's complete. But what, as, as I said before, this is the return side of the circuit. So there should be, no, if I hold it still here on earth, put it on the live, on the other end of the circuit, there should be a, a zero or a one. Uh, show me that as an open circuit. It should be the same all the way along. There should be no contact because it's two sides of the circuit. So that one's okay. So yeah, so from that, if you've got one with extremely high resistance compared to the other three, 
that could very well be the cause of your misfire and it'd be worth replacing the spark plugs for the cost of them uh, to see if that uh, diagnoses and removes your misfire. Hope that makes sense and see you next time. Cheers.